Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, today we're going to keep going in 2018, uh, kind of picking at what's new. Uh, as I've been exploring the product, uh, obviously there's uh, a few little things here and there. And I got a pretty interesting one today. Um, but firstly, I noticed that if you actually log in as the business manager, the business manager role, you get most of the things that are new on your screen. Um, for example, the Excel reports are right up here, which connects straight to Excel. Another thing that I noticed is that we have something called product videos down here. Hmm. Uh, I love videos, as you probably know. And if you go into product videos here, you get a list of um, videos probably for um, setting up things. I say probably because if I actually click on something like this, I just get a page ID and it goes nowhere. Uh, and there is no action or anything like that. So I think this is actually an undocumented addition. Will probably be uh, linked better by Microsoft later. So, um, but in any case, it's here. So hopefully with a service pack, we have those linked up. I know that it wasn't mentioned in any of the blog posts about what is new or any presentation. Uh, so I'm sure this is something that's just on its way. Now, another thing that uh, is really interesting uh, and actually does work is uh, if I go into the contact screen and we've been doing uh, videos about CRM and uh, this kind of holds hand in hand with that. But um, as you're probably familiar with, we have contacts inside NAV. So these are people or companies uh, and their contact cards. Um, so if I go in here, for example, into the add-on marketing, um, actually just underneath add-on marketing, I'm going to create a new contact. And uh, just get a number here. Uh, say it's Hannes. It's me. Oops. And I'm not a company. I'm actually a person. Um, and I am with the add-on marketing group in this case. All right, so I have a new contact, right, for myself. Now, what I can do is actually import a picture, and I'm going to do that. Uh, and I am going to pick, I think, this picture. Uh, it's a picture I took today. Um, not very flattering. Um, but notice that it actually said, hey, good work. You can view the results of image analysis on the profile questionnaire fast tap. Now, what did happen? It actually detected that I'm a male. That should be fairly obvious from the beard that I have. And it uh, made a guess on my age. Not the correct one, but I'm pretty happy with this number. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, so how do we actually set this up? Uh, if I go out of here, and go into my home screen. Again, I'm going to be in the business manager. You can see here that we have uh, service connections and extensions. So here you can actually add extensions uh, and service connections. And one extension that's installed in a demo is the image analyzer. So uh, this <coughs> is a Microsoft tool. It actually connects to Azure. And you actually do have to do a little bit of setup on this, but uh, it's not major and, uh, and connected basically to uh, Azure. So it's a, a connection string, etc. Uh, and then you get that to, to work. I was going to go here into the setup. Uh, and this is the setup screen. I actually did lower the confidence score down to 50 because I was playing around with pictures that were not, uh, not perfect to get the, uh, the age on. For example, if you have a side view of the face, it's not going to detect the age, uh, etc. Now, the API URI is here. This is something you get from Azure. So if you go into the API documentation, you can actually connect to that. Uh, and they will give you a key once you log into Azure. 
So these two things you actually have to enter in here. And once you get them going, uh, the system pretty much works. Uh, this is a really good feature because what it does, it allows you to connect to Azure, do something fancy like face recognition and bring data back. Obviously, we do not want the ERP to do facial recognition by itself. We want services in the cloud to do that. Um, so, so pretty happy about this one. And I think this will probably move forward into other things that uh, the cloud can perform for us and bring data back. So I hope you enjoyed this one. More to come. Thank you.